Muscle Car Corner here, bringing you a 70 Chevelle SS396 car. This thing is sweet. SS396, gallon induction hood. It's like board 30 over, four speed. It's got a bigger cam and polished heads. Nice car, it shows some originality here. Shows this car is from Texas, which is really cool. Um, that's a pretty well preserved decal there. I just wanna bring up the point of looking at originality and decals, like on these uh, inspection decals. Do you see how original that decal looks? That's from 70 and this vehicle has been garage kept pretty much most of its life. I think all of its life. And you can tell that from that sticker. So looking at things like this on a muscle car is very important. Take a look at that VIN, how clean it is. There's no corrosion whatsoever, you know, underneath this dash. This car shows to be original. Um, it's really nice. I love this Cortez, so uh, not Cortez, but uh, Mojave Gold is what they called this. Um, everything is really nice on this car. It's been turned over. It's got over 100,000 on it. AM, FM, four-speed Ola. You know, the seatbelt show original. Um, the interior looks to be done. You know, they put an interior kit on this car. But looking at the originality here inside this door jam, take a look at that. There's no rust, never been rust. This car has been dry stored. That's way, why you buy Texas cars is because you find originality like this. I mean, this is original paint inside these jams. I look for originality and just, like I told you on that sticker we just looked at, that tells you a story about these cars. These Chevelle convertibles are super rare. They're only built less than 2,000 of them, if I'm not mistaken. And they're hard to find without a bunch of rust because what happened if these cars weren't garage kept and they were sat outside, when this tops up, that water went right down. A lot of times those drains got clogged down in here and they would start rusting the quarter panels out if they sat outside like a normal car. Not everybody garage kept these cars. So kudos to whoever owned this. They've taken some a lot of care to it. And I've never seen that option ever on Chevelle, and I don't know if that's original or not. I'll tell you, it's an uh, oddball to see turn signal indicators. Um, looking at brass tacks and getting down to detail on this car. Um, Hood pins, love the hood pins, factory hood pins, really nice. This car's got the option uh, bumper guards on it. It does have the cal induction hood, which is functional air hood, which adds about 15 horsepower to the rear wheel. So, just wanna let y'all know when you're looking at these muscle cars, <coughs> look for originality on stuff like this. and. The, how that decal has lasted all these years is because it's been inside with the top up, probably covered for most of its life. I don't think this car ever saw the outside <clears throat> any amount of time. So somebody loved this car and did the right thing. I will have to look and see. I don't remember ever seeing those on a Chevelle SS. That, that one stumps me. Muscle Car Corner bring you a really nice 70 Chevelle. SS396 convertible, one of my favorite cars of all time. If it was an LS6 454, it'd be, uh, it'd be the one. Muscle Car Corner sign out. Thank you so much for following me. Y'all take care.